Today, we're going to look at the average net worth of a 65-year-old. You know, 65 is the age a lot of people are looking at retiring, so it's kind of nice to see how you stack up to your peers or to where you might want to be in the future. My name is Scott Caulfield. I'm a CPA and a CFA charter holder and the founder of Sophos Wealth Management. So the Fed just released their survey of consumer finances, which is kind of the gold standard of net income and net worth surveys in the United States. This is based on 2022 data, and they tell us a lot about different age buckets and how much net worth and income people have. For those 65, we're actually going to look at the 65 to 69-year-old age bucket. Now, when we're talking about net worth. We're talking about all of somebody's assets, you know, your investment accounts, your more, your house, your cars, minus all of your liabilities. So your debts, think about your mortgages, your credit card debt, um, any auto loans. So take your assets minus your liabilities. That's your net worth. Now, there's kind of two ways of looking at this. There's a, the average that a lot of people think about, which is me. That's maybe not the best number to look at. You know, if I take 100 people and I look at the average net worth of them, and if I calculate the mean, I'm just going to add up all 100 people's net worth, and I'm going to divide it by 100. Well, if we get a Bill Gates in that sample, it's going to be wildly disproportionately high. Well, that mean number in the U.S. is 1.8 million for 65 to 69 year olds, which sounds really high, but is probably disproportionately impacted by the top few percent. The median is a better number in terms of how you stack up. So if we take those 100 people, the median is what the person in the very middle has. So if I take 100 people, what does person number 50's net worth look like? And in the US for 65 to 69 year olds, that number is 393,000. So the average net worth of somebody probably in their retirement, early in that retirement, 65 to 69, 393,000. Now, how about those who are a little bit higher earners or higher net worth people? Where do they stack up? The 90th percentile, so that means the top 10%, they have a net worth of $3 million. And then the very tippy top, to be in the 1%, you need to have $22 million. Now, I think these are fun. It's always cool to kind of see what other people, where they're at. Uh, but, you know, you got to put a lot more thought into what number you need for your retirement. And that's going to be based on your expenses, your spending, other sources of income. You know, you really want to come up with a full financial plan for your situation. I encourage you to check out my website to see more information in my blogs. Check out our other videos and like this one and subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for tuning in.